Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking an inside look into this 2022 Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. But before we get started, per usual, give this video a like while you're here. Also hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment below if you have any questions. But we are going to hop right into it because I am standing on our outside entertainment space. So this is the campsite. You'll be hanging around with the family and friends. You got the, the puppies coming along, you got the grandkids. There's plenty of space on this Imagine and there's even a really large awning that covers uh, one of our entrances. Maybe not the back one to our master, but the front one at least. And it even covers our outdoor kitchen, which is also really convenient. But you've got plenty of space and even a light for those nighttime hangout sessions. Um, we've got some windows looking into our uh, dining area, our kitchen area, and into our bunks, as you can see there in the back. But let's take a look at this outdoor kitchen. Our outdoor kitchen is located on the back of the camper, of course, next to the entrance. So it's easy to get in and out if you need any more ingredients or if you happen to forget something, it's a short walk. We also have this sort of upgraded Capitol Grill um, and it has apparently a more ride system that brings it out. Um, but it is held in by two really nice heavy duty clips here. And sometimes you see like little latches that hold your grills in. After a few years, they tend to degrade a little bit, but these are going to last you a long, long time. We have an extra storage space up top with a light attached and even a little mini fridge for any of the drinks and condiments. Of course, I'm always a fan about that. Having it outside is really handy. You don't have to go inside when your feet are muddy to get a drink, but the storage is in the front where we have our pass through storage area. Of course, everything's fully finished here and it's a really great place to put those chairs, extra tools or anything else you want to bring on your weekend adventures. We have an outdoor shower attachment over here on our convenience bay, our battery disconnect and two LED lights and everything else we really need is right here when we get to the campsite, but let's hop inside. Here we are on the inside of this Imagine. Now it's a 2800 BH, so it is a bunkhouse. As you can see, we got our bunks right here, but I like that they're right next to the entryway, which we'll get to in a second. But let's check out this convenience board here we have. That's for all of our slides, lights, tanks, and everything we need. They even gave you a little secret hideout where we have our grand design packet. Of course, it's a really good place to keep some of the important materials for your RV. And we've got extra coat storage here with some of these really modern hooks and extra shoe storage at the bottom with just a slight little thing. But like I was talking about with the bunks, the reason why I think it fits so well that they're right next to the door is because this can turn into storage. You can use the bottom of the bunk, whether you're both using both the bunks or not for storage, whether it be totes or extra things, or you can flip this up, which of course your mattress will have to go, but it flips all the way up. You have a clasp here to attach it to the top. And I think bikes could fit in here. You could fit a few bikes in here. Even if you're planning on having your child or your family sleep in this bunk while you're traveling, that's pretty nice to be able to carry some bikes and things. But two bunk beds, again, exact dimensions are on the Grand Design website. They do a really good job on their floor plans and they have a lot of tools that helps you see this space in a new light if you're wondering what it looks like in a one person point of view. Each bunk has a window that looks out into the entertainment space outside, as well as two LED lights and charging ports and everything else that you'll need, including this really cute little ladder and privacy curtains. But let's look at our entertainment space. In our entertainment space, we have our theater seating and of course our TV area right across. We've opted for theater seating, but you may be able to switch this to a trifold sofa, but you'll double check, you'll have to double check with uh, Grand Design. These also recline all the way back. I always say it, they're perfect for nap mode and they've got massage lights and they're heated, especially if you're thinking of taking this in the colder weather. And we even have places to charge our phone nearby. We have a dinette, a booth dinette in this specific floor plan that also has an ottoman on the other side of the table that pulls out for extra storage, or you can use it as a full booth for lots of people to enjoy their meals. I enjoyed that this also is a sleeping space. So whether you opted for the sofa, you still have that option. But let's look at the kitchen. One thing I like about this kitchen is it's your normal L-shaped style, but they did add the extended countertop. I always say if you've got a big party around, you always need to have a trash can present and underneath this is just the perfect spot, but don't forget to put this down when you put your slide in or else 
things will happen. But we've got our farm style sink. It is stainless steel with our matching faucet that has a removable head just so it's easier to do those dishes. It does come with its own drying rack that goes over the sink. I appreciate that a little bit more than those big tiles because they're just so heavy. But we have our usual three burner top Furion stove with our built in splash guard. We have a hood and we have a microwave and we have a vent fan right above it so you don't really have to worry about the smoke or if you're cooking something like, you know, sausage or anything, all of that getting in your camper, it'll be right out. Also, this particular model, you do have to double check each different unit because I've seen this unit have this drawer and then other types of kitchen drawers, but all the same, it's a peg style. This one's really, really big, so you can fit lots of different serving ware or pots and pans in here. And they give you extra drawers around, a big one underneath your kitchen sink, and plenty of places for your dishes and flatware, I guess. Now, I already talked about how your family and friends and dogs are gonna be coming along. So, we have built-in bowls for them, so you don't have to worry about where the dog bowls are. They're already here. And we've got an extra thing for your wine bottles. We know you need a little extra storage. But our fridge, is a really sleek and modern RV fridge. I really like the clean lighting, the LED lights on the inside, and it's super updated. In our entertainment space, we've got more storage and our indoor-outdoor speaker system controls, as well as this lovely smart TV on a swivel. It does pull out just slightly. And plenty of storage for things like extra linens, or this could be your pantry. So this makes this pantry dangerously close to those bunks though, so Keep the good snacks in the back. The bathroom is located, again, conveniently next to these bunks and dangerously close to the entrance as well, but that makes it easier for your guests to come right in, not snoop around and get their business done. But let's look at the inside. Our shower is tall people friendly. Well, sort of tall people friendly. I'm five foot 11, so it's really, really comfortable in here. We also have a removable shower head, so it pretty much can fit to whoever is coming in the shower. And they even added the built-in squeegee shower door so you don't have to worry about the shower curtain leaving water everywhere. This one works 10 times better. On the side here, we have extra storage above our toilet and our sink area is pretty big. Our medicine cabinet is mirrored front, has lots of storage behind it, and check out all of this countertop space, even open shelving for any other things you wanna add, maybe decorations. And don't forget, we do have space underneath this sink for an extra trash can as well. But let's look in the master. Our master is just the perfect size. It has everything we need, including a nice big window with a roller shade to black out all that lighting, a residential size bed that comes with a comforter, and we even have our two reading lights. One has an LED light setting and the other has the nice blue setting just so you don't shine it in your eyes late at night. We have more storage up top here with these doors that stay open, thank goodness. And a his and hers wardrobe on each side with two drawers. And each side also has a cubby to hold anything you need like electronics, water, or even a CPAP machine. And it has a plug and a USB port inside it. And last but not least, we have this amazing entryway that goes out into your outdoor entertainment space, but it's private as well. So you don't have to worry about people walking through your bedroom and you don't have to walk around just to get something like a jacket from your own closet. But what do you think of this Imagine? Can you imagine your family having a weekend away? Then give us a call here at Cookville RV Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.